As Jen Goiri says, we are waiting for the DCI director, uh, uh, George Kinoti, to come and address the media as well after Philip Murgor, who is the defense lawyer, or the lawyer of uh, the wife of the late Tob Cohen, uh, we believe at this moment in time he is uh, the late because a body uh, matching his description has been found in a safety uh, tank within his compound in Kitisuru estate. So uh, the lawyer has uh, spoken there accusing uh, the DCI in a subtle way of uh, premeditation in a certain way using of course subtle words to describe that uh, questioning how they got to know about uh, the body being inside the septic tank and uh, he says there was a fresh what appears to be fresh cement covering the septic tank we spoke to jen goiri earlier she did say that uh, someone a friend or a friend of the wife was arrested a few days ago uh, two days or so uh, within the last two days and did claim that uh, as they were being taken to court, they uh, said that they had information and that is what is believed then to have informed this uh, uh, incident right now, what's happening right now within the compound of uh, Tob Cohen and uh, his wife, Sarah Wairimu, in Kitisuru Estate. Uh, the media just uh, scrambling there, trying to get the best picture they can get, of course, and to just get you to understand what's happening in real time there. And uh, we do some resistance, of course, from the DCI detectives. And what we are looking at right now is uh, uh, the d detectives, of course, collecting more evidence. And right now what we see them carrying appears to be a body in a black, wrapped in a black paper bag uh, right there uh, by the dressed in white. That, uh, all right, the body has been lying there all this while, wrapped in a white bag. And that's it being taken into the police vehicle right now by the detectives as well. Ken Mijungu is on the line for us. Ken, what's happening right now? Well, what you said, Edmond, the body has just been put in uh, the police pickup to be storage, uh, probably to where it will be preserved now as the investigations continue. But they have learned quite a lot of information in the last one, uh, Edmond, also. For example, uh, how the police were led here and mm -hmm. were led by a uh, suspect who was being taken to court today, who apparently told the police, before you take me to wherever you're taking me, uh, let's go to the compound. We also learned that uh, the police have come here the last three days or so. And uh, the last two days also, the um, defense team has also been allowed to access this compound fully, except for today, that uh, they were not allowed to access this place. So, um, we have also seen the pictures, and we'll try and find videos for you mm -hmm. um, from where the body was discovered. Mm -hmm. It was a freshly covered um, pit, or uh, a pit. Yes. And then it was covered by um, soil, fresh soil, and when it was uncovered, they were able to see um, fresh cement.